Hey gang, we're in here. Welcome back to the Retrocade and another episode of our first time playthrough of the original Dark Souls remastered on Steam as promised to collaborate or to commemorate rather our 200th episode on this channel. So in the last episode, we managed to get through the uh, to the top of the parish and take out the two gargoyles there and ring the first bell. Now we have to go back and do a little bit more backtracking. Because uh, one of the things we have to do is we have to go back to Fireling Shrine and we have to pick up a particular item. And to do so, we have to dispatch of an NPC we just came across uh, not too long ago. Now the person we are going to go deal with is Knight Lautrec, who... We could let him stay where he is. But in doing some research on it, there's two options we can do. We could either let him stay where he is, and at some point down the line, we are going to lose the Firekeeper because he is going to kill her. And then we have to go pursue him all the way to, I believe it's An Orlando is the big city in this game. <clears throat> and then in the process of beating that quest, we will get his armor. Or... We can fight him now, back at Firelink Shrine, get rid of him, spare the Firekeeper, and also be able to get his ring. And his ring is apparently one of the best rings in the game, bar none. And I would rather do that than get a suit of armor that I may not necessarily use. So what I want to do first is I want to save it here. No, I want to be able to use the bonfire. Not read the message. And come down here. And there is Knight Lotric. Now I want to talk to him first. Now we will accept that reward from him. Now he laughs. Now there's a couple of ways we can go about... That sinister laugh means he is there for the sole purpose of trying to get rid of her. Now, there's a couple of ways we can dispatch him. We can either fight him one-on-one -on -one and try and kill him that way. And with a level 5 Claymore, I like our chances. Or, from what I understand, if we can, we can kick him off this ledge and then that will take care of him. So... Well, what have we here? And do it that way. So we get the soul, so he is dead, and now what I need to do is I need to come back up here to the bonfire, and what I've got to do is I've got to quit the game. So we're not done just yet, because we're only three and a half minutes in. But in doing so, now that when we go back down there, the item that he will have left behind, being his ring should be waiting for us. And this is something that you have to do every so often in this game, apparently, is that when you do these restarts, there's the Ring of Favor and Protection. Now, here's what I understand why this is a really, really crucial item to have. It boosts HP, stamina, and load, and when you take it off, you break it. So, once you put this ring on, you never take it off, nor should you have to take it off. And as you see, we got a sizable jump in our HP. Our stamina goes up, which means we can run further for longer. And also... Our load equipment load is now 72. <clears throat> Excuse me. And now one other thing we can go do... Is we're at the point where we can go back into the Undead Berg... And when I went up to fight the Taurus Demon, there was an option to go downstairs. And I didn't go downstairs, and it was, in a way, I'm glad I didn't, because... All things being equal, had I gone down there, I would have ran into Havel. And from what I understand, Havel is far and away the tankiest NPC, or the tankiest character, 
in all of Dark Souls. Now, I can go fight him at this point and probably have a pretty good chance of beating him. I'd like to think. It's not a guarantee. But if I can beat Havel, then I can get Havel's Ring, and Havel's Ring boosts my carrying capacity even more and allows me to get better gear, or carry better gear. Now, there's a couple of ways I can go to get to Havel. There is going up through the Undead Parish and out where the blacksmith is and where that big old hulking thing was that was spitting lightning at us, which I found out is called the Titanite Demon, and there's a finite number of them, like there are a finite number of Black Knights in the game. And we are going to have to deal with that thing at some point as well. Ooh, got a humanity from that rat. Okay. Or we can go back this way. Ow. Ow, ow, quit it, quit it. Enough of that. You go too. And one for Jenny and the Wimp. And we have enough to go and get the repair box. Now we can get it from the vendor that's here. Or we could go back to the smith and get it for, I believe it's a grand less. And I'm inclined to do that as well. Now let's see, we can go this way. Actually, no, we can't, because <clears throat> the dragon is still up there. And we can try and run away from it, but we are going to get thoroughly cooked. Whereas if we go this way, we bypass all that. Oh! Ow! Listen, jerk. And we picked him another longsword. So I also did find out that the amount of stuff that we carry does not have an impact on the weight of what we have. Um, that is purely in regards to the armor we have and what equipment we currently are wearing at the time. Go away. Now, if there's one thing that I, I suppose is a nit to pick at this stage in the game, it is that we're having to do so much backtracking. I wasn't anticipating having to come back through here as much as I have. Okay, so that door will lead us down to Havel. So we come down this way.
And he's down here somewhere. And I know we'll see him because where else do you find essentially a six foot walking tank? Okay, his weakness is back. There is Havel. And you don't want to fight him on the stairs, so let's get him up here. Oh boy. Yeah, that armor is pretty tough because I went right through having to deal with your Black Knights like they were fairly nothing. Oh, okay. Maybe that's what my buddy who was helping me out with the gargoyles had earlier. This will be a good way for me to work on doing parrying and rolling. As well as backstabbing. All right, big boy. So this is very much a guy who you just want to stick and move. Oof. Man, that club is tight. Ugh. I gotta get around him. There we go. And another one. I think two more of those and I should be okay. Alright, now he's going back to one-handers. One more of that ought to do it. cow that double up swing I don't think I want to deal with that and goodbye Havel so we have Havel's ring which means now I can take off not the ring of favor and protection but I can take off the blue tear stone ring that won't break and I can put on Havel's ring And we come down here, open this door, and where are we? We're in the dark group basin. Okay. So what sort of things do we have down here? Well, we have an item. We have big blue crystal shiny things. Got one there, two there. One there, and there's something. What? Oh, hello. Oh, I know what that is. That's a Hydra. Okay, I remember seeing that thing before. Take this guy out. That's 200 souls. That's not bad. more. We're certainly leveling up nicely. But I don't think I... Oh, there's something down... Oh, there's something down there too. But I don't think I want to mess with that Hydra just yet. That is a big, big sucker. And I think we're a little bit farther out of our jurisdiction than we should be. But we got to have one. We got about 15 minutes to go.
But now that we've gotten through all that... I'm liking how things are looking at this point in time. We still gotta figure out how to unlock that door. Oh, those guys are the ones slinging. Fire bombs at me. Alright, we'll go back this way and we will not deal with the dragon because he's at least not there at the moment. But he is now. All right, Chuckles, I hear you. Well, these guys are a lot easier to take out than they were when I first encountered them. And not having to deal with poison damage is nice. Take him out. Another long sword. Put him down. Got a hollow soldier shield, though what I'm going to do with that, I have no idea. Listen. You crossbow bolt slinging bastards. You go away. Take a swig. deal with these guys. Oh! So that's how the parry works. Okay. I like that. Now I just have to be careful because I got parried to death earlier by this guy. They just wash the windshield with him. Ooh, okay. If I can get that down, life is going to get real exciting. Ow. Jerk. Beat ya. Another soldier helm. Big fat Harry, big fat Harry, big fat Harry deal. Uh, okay, so we'll go back this way. We got about 10 minutes, so let's head on down this way. Let's refill here. Hi, Abel. Now that you've been rendered spiritless, is our guy still out here? He is. Let's go talk to him really quick. We also need to level up while I'm thinking about it. Still closed. Still closed. Still, still closed. Okay. Nothing for him. So go back over here, we will level up really fast. Let's level up, okay. So we're at 20 here and we're at 20 here. So for right now, I wanna see about boosting up strength. I should, 
Should I pop dexterity a little bit? So it goes to 197. So all of this would go up if I bo boost up both. But if I go to... I mean, it's six in one, half dozen in the other. And I seem to be doing better with strength than I am with dexterity, but... I'm getting to the point where I'm going to need to start rolling a bit more. Let's do this. I mean... Stat-wise, we're going to be fine either way. Do I have any... I have one large soul of a nameless soldier. Hey, and you gave me a thousand. Perfect. Okay, all this stuff is doing okay, which means I can purchase the full repair box for 2000 and now I can repair all my gear by myself at a bonfire if I need to. And I've only got 54 souls left, and we've got this big sucker down here to deal with. Now, from what I understand... The thing I have to really pay attention to is that big old pole of his and the fact that... Oh, and that he jumps. But if I can stay on his hindquarter bit... Ow. Those thunderbolts. And it's that big old swing that apparently is the one you really gotta look out for. It's like if he he can snag you with the end of it, and that's what you really don't want. Hey, we got him. Okay. And we picked up Demon Titanite. So we managed to pull that off. And where are we at here? We've got about seven minutes. So where are we now? Well, this looks like we're on the other side of where we were when we took on those big blue guys. Ooh, hello. You go away. Ooh, we can go up that way, or we can go this way. Whoop, another one of these guys. Okay, grab that. That looks like a long way down, and I do not want to mess with it. So, there's something over there. But, ooh, nope. Ooh, that, that's... That's very close to an optical illusion. That's not cool. These guys snap pretty hard. Okay, so there's got to be a way to get whatever that is over there. I obviously have not found it yet, but I gotta get... Ooh, careful. Okay. Go this way. And we have a light. What is this? Beware of Covenant. Locked by some contraption. So we can't get through this door, whatever it is. Okay, and what are you? 
try attacking. Oh! Hey! We have a bonfire. I'll take that gladly. Right, 2,454. Praise the sun. Oh, a slayer down here? No, but there's a whole bunch. What are these? Okay. Imminent danger zone. Lying in ambush ahead. So, gotcha. Oh, okay, so the tops of those guys look like these bushes, and I saw one come out of the ground. So it looks like we have one, two, three of them. Now the question is, can I actually hit one when it's in the ground like this? Well, we're about to find out. Maybe not. Or maybe so. Purple Moss Clump, what do you do? Reduce poison mills. Ooh, cures poison. Thank you. I will gladly accept that on behalf of management. So what can we do with you? Take you out. Okay. That's what I thought. I have a feeling if we had gone for that first with all three of them standing there, they would have all came out of the ground and tried to overwhelm us. Oh, and there's a white door. Okay, so, well, we're close enough to 30 minutes that I can make it back to the bonfire, and I won't save it because I just went through all that stuff, but... We'll at least get here and I can pause it and we can make a decision on what we're going to do next. Because we go through that door, that's potentially a boss there. So, uh, in the meantime, we made good progress. I mean, we got two really good rings. We dispatched Havel and Lawtrek. And now we are down here in the Dark Root Garden, I think it was, and we will be able to carry on a little bit further and see what awaits us on the other side of that door. So, uh, as always, hope you've been enjoying this playthrough. This game continues to be interesting and fun, despite the fact that we've done so much backtracking through it. And we will see, going forward, how much more that we have to do. But I like that we are now advancing in a particular direction. Whether or not that's the right direction is yet to be seen, but we'll figure it out as we go. So... Uh, as always, my name is Ron. It's been great to spend this time with you. Be safe, be well, happy gaming, and we will talk to you in the next episode. Bye.